Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do something a little different today. We are in downtown Seattle. Just did a nighttime walk of Pike Place Market, and I'm hungry. So we're going to go to my favorite burger place, which would be Dick's Burgers, Dick's Drive-In. So we're going to head down to, or up to Queen Anne from Pike Place Market. So with that being said, let's get into it. Do a quick drive through uh, the Market Street, and then we'll be... Uh, on our way heading north. We had a little bit of rain today, so conditions are pretty clean at this point, but not too wet. Still drying out a bit. Had a nice little walk of the market. Uh, lots of people out taking photos, really quiet night. It's actually just kind of a really peaceful experience coming down here at night and uh, getting away from all the hustle and bustle of the daytime of the market. So, this is going to be about an eight minute drive to get up to the Dicks and Queen Anne. This one's a little unique. It actually is the only one that has indoor dining. So, it's pretty much a drive up, grab your food, and go back to your car and eat. This one you actually can eat inside the uh, restaurant. Very, very popular place here in Seattle. So, when we uh, were younger, it was always go out to the bars or the clubs and those all shut down at two o'clock in the morning well so does dick's burgers so what you had to do is you had to make sure that you left the club or the bar early enough so that you could get your uh, deluxe or your cheeseburger or whatever it was that you wanted to get before they shut down for the night and they get so popular and so busy that they actually uh will have police officers standing by closer to closing time just to stop any fighting or anything like that happening. When I was younger, I actually do re I do remember a few times where we actually saw uh, scuffles happen and garbage cans get thrown, and soon after that was when they started hiring police. I think they actually pay for the police to be there. But it's... Uh, Nothing worse than going out for the night and you're not able to get your greasy fries and deluxe or cheeseburger or whatever it is that you normally get. Uh, personally, I love their fries. Uh, you got to get them with a side of tartar. They charge you five cents for each tartar, but well worth it to get those tartars with the fries. Depending on the day, though, it's usually a deluxe and a chocolate shake for me, but can't go wrong with their fries either. So walking around in this area, it's, it was actually kind of nice. Uh, looks like a lot of the bars are opening back up. Um, third still looks like third, but as far as around the market and heading, right now we're heading through Belltown. Uh, looks pretty good. Does not look bad at all. So happy to see the city looking good. That's That's always a good thing. When I do these videos, I try and just tell it as it is and as we see it and sometimes it's good sometimes it's not so good but that's just what it's like for that current time period so one other thing I was thinking about doing is West Seattle actually not access West Seattle right now via the West Seattle Bridge. Uh, they had some kind of catastrophic failure with the bridge and now everyone that's trying to get home or over there has to be diverted another another direction to get there. Um, so I don't know what that's been like for people but definitely cannot be a lot of fun to not have that bridge available. I did see on the news earlier this month that I think they said they're 30 trucks of concrete away from being able to reopen the bridge and it sounds like the repairs are going to continue until 2060 and then in 2060 is when the bridge would need to be replaced anyway so sounds like a band-aid but a band-aid that will at least make it usable and then they're just going to continue to work on it as time goes on so I was thinking maybe and you know I don't know if it's going to work driving over there at nighttime because trying to get to West Seattle right now with 
the roads being all the way they are with the bridge being down would be kind of hard so I wanted to see what it was like to get over there and maybe do a little bit of nighttime footage of Alki. Alki Beach is a very popular spot that is well known get some beautiful views of the city skyline and kind of cool beach that's over there um, I just don't know what visibility is going to be like this time of night so it, it might not work um, but I might head over there and just take a peek and if it turns into a video it turns into a video if not we'll definitely be at Alki sometime this summer just because it's a it's a cool beach to check out and look at climate pet climate pledge arena is on our right here so now we're coming into Queen Anne I've said it before I'll say it again I look at this as lower Queen Anne um, I, I think they've renamed it I still need to go look and see what they renamed the area but I think there's a new name for this part of town On. No one's around. There's no one to walk. There we go. All right. Oh, it's a one way. All right, we're going to head down a street and we'll come back up and see if we can find parking. Every time it rains in the city and in the surrounding areas of Seattle, Washington area, it is really nice how everything just feels so clean. The air feels a little cleaner, a little more crisp. Um, that's one of the really fortunate things we have here is just we do get quite a bit of rain, but it's more we just get rain on more days. Uh, but it's light rain, and when we get it, it just kind of cleans everything out. And so it just makes everything feel just very fresh and clean and breathe well uh, other than springtime when my allergies kick in uh, we definitely get quite a bit of pollen around here trees get lots of water to bloom and make all sorts of pollen so my allergies don't like me from typically April through June is usually the worst of it and then by summertime it's usually not too bad turn there. Can I turn here? Here we go. I'll go right into the parking lot. All right, welcome to Dixon Queen Anne. Go in, grab a burger, and uh, feed my belly. This guy almost hit me. I don't know what he was thinking. Obviously, back into the spot and try to smash right into my car. I can see uh, she's not the best driver. Her windshield or her side mirror is held on by duct tape. Another thing about Seattle, we don't have the best drivers in the area. All right, we'll get inside, take a look.
I got a deluxe uh, chocolate shake, a fry, two tartar, and a small Diet Coke. Anything else? That's it. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right. Well, I guess because of COVID, they took away the uh, seating indoors. So I guess we're getting the full Dick's experience of eating out of the car. Let's look at what I got. Dick's Deluxe Fry. And two tartar. And as far as the fries go, you know, the picture quality, it's nighttime, so it's not the best picture quality, but greasy, but delicious. Still got the uh, shack set up for camping. We're going to do another trip here, hopefully tomorrow. Let me get out and explore an area. All right, I'll show you what this burger looks like. There you go, Dick's Deluxe. Pretty delicious. So they're kind of unique because you go in there, if you ask them to customize anything, they won't. You just get it however they make it. So if you want a plain burger, you better like what's on the plain burger or what's on the Dick's Deluxe, you better like it and that's it. Mm. Always hits the spot though. Oh man. Unique to Dick's is they actually treat their employees really well from everything I've ever heard. So they're starting out pay is 20 bucks an hour, five to $9,000, $5,000 to $9,000 per year for tuition and childcare um, or childcare. So the 401k with 50% employer match, paid time for volunteering, up to three times of, or up to three weeks of paid vacation. So I mean, they just, for being a burger place, they treat their employees really well. So especially if you're in college, you know, uh, needing a part-time gig, I would be in trouble because I'd be eating it every single day. And, that probably would not be good for my waistline, but uh, my younger years, I think it would have been a fun place to work. So as you can see, tartar sauce, fries, greasiness, absolutely delicious. All right, guys. Well, got a Diet Coke as well. Just wanted something to wash down the uh, burger and fries a little easier. Also got my chocolate shake, which will be my treat for afterwards. So not the healthiest night, but I'm gonna dig into this burger and fries and finish up with a chocolate shake. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you're uh, interested in seeing more places that I love to eat around Seattle and Washington in general, let me know where you wanna see or what you like or uh, places you wanna check out. Till next time, keep exploring, have a good night.